Will Mary's new book, Dear George, Dear Mary, hits bookstores this Wednesday. Over the weekend, I had the pleasure of meeting so many wonderful readers throughout our area. This is at Ridgewood, New Jersey, at Bookends. Thanks. Oh, is that Alex Dennis and her mom? <laughs> oh, and Chris, oh, thank you so that? much for coming out as well. So many of the CBS2 staff was there, so I really, really appreciate it. And then we were over at Phillips Manor in Yonkers. John Elliott was with me as well. And this is where the story of George Washington and Mary Phillips all began. Hey, that was my sister, Roseanne. <laughs> Well, this is Liz. These are descendants of the Phillipses who oh, were wow. there as well. And, uh, wow, the research behind the book was profiled on CBS Sunday morning yesterday. Please take a look. In her debut novel, Dear George, Dear Mary, author Mary Calvey writes of Washington's first love, Mary Eliza Phillips, one of the wealthiest women in the colonies. In the 1800s, she's written in every book there is that I could find about George Washington. And yet, since then, I feel like she's sort of been left out of history. Calvi wants to put her back with a love story that begins in 1756 as the newly minted French and Indian war hero, Colonel George Washington, is passing through New York. He stops for a party in his honor possibly at Phillips Manor, a mansion in Yonkers. When he meets the heiress who lives there, sparks fly. But Washington's sense of duty to the King of England trumped Cupid. If this guy has fallen for this heiress, why doesn't he make plans to take some leave? George Washington requests time off. 10 days, 12 days, 14 days, and he writes to his commanders. He's denied every time. It's a story that has long fascinated Calvi, who, like Mary Phillips, grew up in Yonkers. For three and a half years, Calvi sorted through thousands of letters, publications, and journal entries. She wanted her work of fiction backed up by as many facts as she could find. For the enemy. Though she didn't always didn't like where those facts her. took her. Like to this mansion in Harlem. The author knew that Martha Washington was back in Virginia and that Phillips' husband was in England. No one knows for sure where Mary Phillips was. She wasn't upstate with her sister, and she wasn't in Yonkers with her brother. So it is possible that George Washington moved into a mansion in Harlem in which his first love was living in at the time. Historian Richard Brookheiser, one of the world's preeminent George Washington scholars, confirms George and Mary Phillips were an item in 1756 but says while historical fiction is one thing, is it possible they shared this house? We don't have any evidence of it. Not saying it didn't happen, just saying we can't say it did happen. There are rigorous standards for something to enter the historical record. That's right. And he was saying, not yet have we found the documents. And that's really my hope, is that this will be reviewed and the documents will be looked at again to yeah. really determine, especially a young George Washington, was he deceived by his British commanders at that time? Which Clearly is what a stud, I saw. though. Clearly this yes. guy. Yes. Dance fella. I found love poems that he wrote in his journal, love letters as well. Wow. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Who knew he was such a romantic, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, congratulations, by the way. Thank you.